Fox News alert, a suspect arrested in the brutal killing in four college, of four college students in Idaho. The police not rolling out. There are other suspects. Watch. Is our community safe, or is law enforcement still on the search for other suspects who might be involved in this attack? What I can tell you is we have an individual in custody who committed these um, horrible crimes, and um, I do believe our community is safe, but we still need to be vigilant, right? We still have talked about this in the past. We always need to be aware of our surroundings and make sure that uh, we're aware of what's going on. So, Jimmy, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they're not ruling it out. The suspect mm -hmm. uh, allegedly said when he was getting arrested that yeah. there may be, that you catch someone else yep. as well. Mm -hmm. What do you make of this news? Well, I certainly wouldn't feel any safer if I was in that community based on the answer he just gave because it did sound a little bit evasive. Mm -hmm. But there's two things to keep in mind here. One is obviously the probable cause affidavit, that they can't speak to the specifics of the investigation. The other is we have to be mindful of the fact that when they are communicating with the public, they're doing so with, if in fact there is another suspect, the idea that they could be consuming this information in mind, which I think was part of the maddening experience we had with the Moscow-Idaho messaging from time to time during the case, as a lot of people were crit criticizing it as inconsistent. But again, we must be mindful that sometimes they're facing forward towards the public with an eye on a potential suspect consuming the information. That being said, that answer was not a no. You know, the only thing I took away, because I don't have the criminal justice background of the judge or any, you know, anybody on here, um, but the point is my horse sense told me when this suspect said to police, did you catch another guy? If you know how much time he spent investigating these types of crimes, both as a major and a weirdo on Reddit, mm -hmm. this does speak to maybe an evasive maneuver by him to throw them off the scent and potentially contaminate an investigation. Katie, does it concern you that there, and these play out all the time behind the scenes, but there were some inconsistencies between the police department and the prosecutor, who's the chief law enforcement officer of the town. He's trying to build a case, uh, what he can prove in court, whereas the investigators are just grabbing evidence as, as, as it goes. Well, when I first heard what the charges were today, four counts of first-degree murder, I automatically went to, well, they must have a lot of evidence that they believe they can get him on four counts of first-degree murder. There must be a lot of DNA evidence. Uh, there must be evidence of premeditation. Jimmy brings up the Reddit post. There's been talk about whether this uh, creep was following these students on social media, following Kaylee on social media, targeting her, stalking her, uh, and how much effort he really put into finding a target. There was some talk about him asking those kinds of questions uh, in, his, in his criminal uh, justice classes about, about criminal behavior and how they target victims. Um, we're going to find a lot of that out. It's, it's going to take a couple more weeks. I, I, the hearing for him in Pennsylvania is on Tuesday, and then we have to, he has to decide whether he wants to be extradited, he wants to stay in Pennsylvania, then they have to issue an extradition request for Idaho. Idaho can't release the affidavit until he gets to his preliminary hearing, um, so that can't be released to the public. And as you said, the prosecutor and the police today during the press conference continued to say, while we have a suspect in custody and the charges have been filed, the investigation is ongoing and we're still, they said it's just the beginning and they still want those thousands of tips to come in if people knew something, heard something, so they can continue to build their case, as Judge Janine was saying, up until the very moment of prosecution in the courtroom. So, Joe, let's talk about that investigation because it's going to be critical. A lot of the information was, wasn't was released before, still not released now because they want to protect the integrity of the investigation. But now we have a face of the person that did this, people who interacted with him over the, the weeks lead and the days leading up to this, uh, this crime, this horrific crime. Do you think that's going to be critical in this investigation? Oh, it must. It, but you see what we're seeing here from the police. They are being very, very close to the vest here in terms of what they have and what may still be out there. I, I'm with you, Jimmy. If, if my kid was at the University of Idaho and lived off campus, I wouldn't have 100% confidence that they're completely safe right now because it would have just been an outright denial that there may be another suspect. So he's either playing this, this uh, suspect here is playing 3D chess by saying, oh, did you arrest anybody else? Or maybe there was an accomplice here. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But that Reddit post is very, very telling, Lawrence, where he was actually putting out a survey on victim selection. That is damning. Yeah. This is a guy that thought he was above the law, that he can outsmart the cops because he studied criminals for a living. Yeah. Um, Kennedy, we'll get you on the other side. I will take it.
Yes, <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.